to share slides on a Zoom call or Zoom webinar. Sometimes can be frustrating when we are sharing slides for a Zoom call or webinar that it's not easy to find a way to see the chat and control the chat, the participants, our own notes, mainly if we have only one screen and sometimes even with two screens can be a challenge. So how can we make this happen in a way that creates a good experience for the viewer and allow us to have everything there even in a small monitor. So if we have our slides in PowerPoint and we go in Zoom and we, so let me bring here the Zoom and, and we share the screen we can pick, if we have more than one desktop, we can pick it here, or we can pick the application and share. And then you will be seeing it here, and the viewer also going to see, everything else disappears. Of course, we can start here the slideshow, start the presentation. But even if we have two screens, one will be the slides, the other will be the notes, um, we can bring the node, the chat open here. So if you close the chat and if we go to the three little dots there and click on the chat, we can be able to see the chat here. That is really nice. We even can go and pull the participants window. But if we want notes, it's, it's, we, it's difficult to, to bring another thing in one screen. So the way that I prefer to do this is, let me just uh, stop the share here and uh, stop the PowerPoint presentation here. My preference is to import or upload my slide presentation even in PowerPoint to my Google Drive that now is very very friendly with PowerPoint and then I go there and I open with Google Slides that I have all the presentations and nowadays is rare that I have to do anything with the format the format is great and then once I'm here so let me go one step I'm showing you from the beginning so I have upload the PowerPoint in Google Drive, then open it with Google Slides. I have it here now. And once I'm in this view, I can do a very handy trick here that if I click here, present, takes me to this view that is the full screen. And I can go here, down this, and exit full screen. So I will have the slide in a window that looks quite nice. And this is what I will be sharing in Zoom. And I even can click here on notes that allow me to see the next slide very handy. And if I have any notes, so they are two. But then I only share, and then I can clean up a little bit here by going to view and say, oh, no, not showing there the bookmarks at the top. And then in Zoom, this is the window that I will share. Going here, and I will share that window. So the viewers will see just that window. So I see the green around, so they are seeing just that window. I can also clean up extensions if I want there, but it's a much more cleaner view that what is in the green is what is going to be shared, but I still can see the next slide, my notes, I even can bring here a document, and of course, if I bring here for us to see all the Zoom commands here, I can go to more, bring the chat over here. Let me just put it in this screen so I can see the chat. 
and uh, I can see the list of participants if anybody is raising their hands. So of course, depending of the size of your screen, you can adapt these to as bigger the screen you have, the easier it is to, that you can really put that big, the people will see it uh, at their regular size, and then you can have here the slide notes that allow you to go to the next one. Let's see if with the, now this one you really, you have to have it a little bit bigger to be able to go to the next one. And you can go to the back or even to the notes and you can have the other things here. You can adjust your screen to be like your dashboard there. I am fortunate enough to have two screens so what I do is I put this one in a full screen and have everything else on the other one. So play around with the different options that you have and create the experience for the viewer that is more clean and professional and easier to consume and at the same time have for yourself the information that you need to be there and provide your best content to your audience. It's not very easy to set up in the beginning to find what is the best solution for you. Trial and error really works there. Once you know it, you create the system and then become easy peasy lemon squeezy.